hey guys so i'm back with my computer and i'm back after a long time i know that i'm sorry for that guys because i was not able to make videos because i was out of town for some reason so but now today we will be learning about tick inter today we are going to learn about basic alignment and positioning so now we will start with basic alignment and positioning of our basic gui widget so open your pycharm and in here i have this code from my previous video if you haven't watched it yet then you can find the link of my previous video in the i button now and if you haven't accessed my python programming playlist then you can find the link of that playlist in the description below so with that said now let us continue so here i have this code and now what i will do is here i have another file here i have this index.py file so i will go in that file and in here now today we will use this file okay so here we will first of all we need to import something so what we will do is we will use from tkinter import star that means we are importing everything from tkinter then we will use root equals tk that means we are initializing our tkinter then i will set the geometry of my window to be let's say 300 by 500 okay so i have this 300 by 500 as the uh, geometry of my window root window then here what i will do is i will use root dot main loop so main loop oops main loop yep so this root dot main loop is basically the loop which will keep your window open until and unless you will press this close button on the right top side so now today what we are going to learn is interesting we will learn about anchor tags anchor tag so we'll learn about anchor and side tags so these anchor and side basically not tags the properties so we'll learn about them so first of all i will create a button let's say and these properties are uh, these properties can be used with any other components not just button they can be used with label they can be used with uh, let's say uh, entry widget and everything so here i will pack this button in the root then i will have a text let's say anchor or let's say uh, anchor and side so this is our button and let us pack it now so here if you will pack this button and if we will learn uh, if we will run this code then here you can see we have this uh, basic tick enter window with this button here but now what if we want this button to be somewhere else what if we want this button to be in this corner what if we want this button to be in this corner what if i want the button to be in center if i want the button in the bottom then for those situations we can use anchor tag not tag i am sorry i am uh, confused with i'm not confused basically i am mistaken uh, because of uh, the uh, uh, html tags and because of this uh, spe specific python uh, properties i am saying prop uh, tags instead of properties so i should say property names okay so here uh, if we use anchor properties uh, we should use anchor and side properties so instead of that i am saying tags because there is anchor tag in html so that's the topic for some other day but now currently what we need to do here is we want this button to be settled bottom at at the bottom at the left at the right so how we will do that so for that in this pack method uh, just like using padding we have some properties like uh, anchor we can set this anchor basically to n okay and this n capital is tkinter constant so this is constant from the tkinter which we just imported here so we can use this n like that and on the other hand let me decrease the font size so okay so here we are now and on the other hand we can use this n which is another uh, value or which is a string which we can provide to this anchor tag so i will stick with this approach so if i will save it then you will see no change because the direction north okay so uh, if you are familiar with directions then you may know that north is located at the top as you can see in the uh, diagram below so this is situated or this is posi positioned at the top or at the north side now what if i want this to be on the let's say uh, east side then i can use e and if i will use e you can see that whenever i will run this program you will see that this anchor is now uh, positioned at this e but currently it is by default it is at top 
now what if i want it to be at the bottom side so for that i can use side which is another property which we can use and we can set it to top we can set it to bottom we can set it to left then we can set it to right and center similarly okay so center so uh, we can set these uh, this side to all those things i don't think that we can set it to center we can set anchor to center we can set it to top left right and bottom so i will set it to bottom so let me show you what happens if we will use this side so if i will set side is equal to bottom then we get this anchor at right side or at e we have anchor e that means we have our button or our widget positioned at uh, east side and at bottom so the side is bottom and the position is east then we can use northeast which is uh, the top right hand corner but currently as we have this side is equal to bottom that that is uh, changing this so if i will change this side is equal to if i will change it with let's say if i have side equals to center if i'll save it i think i will get an error yes we are getting an error because center is not uh, there in this what we can do is we can set it to right okay if i'll set it to right then you can see we have this anchor in the northeast but now if i will use it to be in uh, let's say northwest if i will use northwest let me close this window first and let me rerun this now okay so let me save it and now let me change this side to left now let me save it let me run it so here as you can see we have this in the northwest and we can remove this side as well we don't need this side property here if we are using northwest why do we need this side we don't need this side let me remove it and let me run it now now as you can see we get the same input not the input we get the same output now we can similarly use all those things just like this we can use a uh, south and we can run it so uh, currently we get it at the center uh, but we can get this uh, basically this widget at the uh, south direction with using side so if i list i will use side and if i will provide bottom here i can save it and i can run it okay so oops this bottom should be like this we can and again this is a tick enter constant and we can provide string as well i will use this and let me run it now now as you can see we get this anchor or we get this button at uh, south and bottom then we get this button at south and west okay so southwest just like this and we can get this button at south east just like this so as you can see we can use this side and anchor properties simultaneously to get the output or whatever output that we want then if we simply provide this uh, side only without anchor and if i'll set it to let's say right and if i'll save it we can get the uh, we can get the widget located at here which is right side if we will change this with left okay so if we will change this with left we can see the changes here we can see the changes we have the button which is now uh, positioned at the left side of the window okay so just like that we can use this side and anchor and along with that we also have anchor uh, anchor is equals to center so we also have this and we can also use center like this so we have center and now let me run it so if i will run it we get this anchor at this center and that's why we are uh, seeing this uh, button at here but actually it should be on the bottom but we don't have any other components here or not components the widget the widgets here and that's why we are seeing this anchor located at north so uh, just like that we can use anchor and side to change or to adjust the positioning of our widgets in tpinter so simply try this simply tweak this uh, try to change the anchor and side simultaneously and you will get whatever you want so practice it well and that was it for today guys thank you for watching this video and i will be back with another video